Hello everyone, Matt back again for another one. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I personally overwinter the canners in my garden. Here's my canners now, looking a bit sad looking, not as vibrant. Really, really simple. What I'm going to show you in this video, a couple of ways of doing it. You can either cut them all back the way I'm going to do it, or if they're potted, just cut, put them inside a unheated garage. Just keep them above freezing and everything should be fine. One of the most simplest things you can overwinter. So no need to panic with them. Really simple to do. Just get a nice clean pair of secateurs, cut them back. I didn't realise how much was coming off. And the reason why we do it, one, you got to protect the rhizomes and the new grown shoots. Second one is, as soon as the frost hit, it's just going to turn mush, mushy mess. And then all we've got to do is protect these, the rhizomes so they don't get blackened off. So all we're going to do is get some nice layer of mulch over the top. Since all the leaves are falling off uh, next door neighbour's tree, Thanks very much, that'll be great for me, a little bit of insulation. Oh yeah, note to oneself, I forgot how much uh, comes off the canners. So next year I'll be doing it a couple of weeks earlier, so we can do all that. Next job's pick all the leaves up, and get them all ready to put on the pile. All over the top, they have great nutrients and they'll keep the, the canners a little bit warmer. Here we are, all the leaves put on top of the canners now. All I've got left to do now is get the cardboard, put a bit of cardboard over the top. Finally all done, looks 100% better. Leaves down, cardboard on top, and the mulch. Simple as that really. It's no hard work in it. In my next video, I'm gonna get all the rest of the garden all put to bed, all ready for winter. So, see you all in the next one. Thanks everyone for watching. 